and in today's video I am doing part two of the most disturbing kids TV shows that ever aired. These are not just like lost episode creepypastas. These are things that really came out and really scared a lot of young people. And yes, I'm currently wearing a cat getting hypnotized on my shirt. You know I like to wear weird things. And this really cool choker style dangly necklace is available on our website. It just went up a couple weeks ago, but I love how it's a crescent moon. And at the very end of the dangle, there's like this little like star. I love it. It's just so me. And if you think it's so you as well, I have linked it down below. And we do have two other new items on our website that I really have to show you before we get started. Last time we had a dragon plushie on our website, you guys sold it out in literally 72 hours. So I decided to get some more because I love dragons as well. So first we have this beautiful blue sleeping dragon. I love it so much. It has like a velvet material on both wings. His little hands actually glitter. I love his tail. I love the shape of him. So he is available on the website right now. Link down below. Look at this color. Are you kidding me? So this is our other one. He is green. He's sitting up. So he's able to sit on like a shelf or any sort of surface. His eyes are like a glittery green. I love him so much. You guys know me and plushies. <laughs> I love plushies. So yeah, if you would like a dragon plushie added to your collection, I have linked them down below. All right, guys. So with that being said, let's get right into today's video. So the first disturbing episode comes from a show called Ren and Stimpy. And this episode was called Jerry the Belly Button Elf. Yeah. Now, this episode came out in 1994, and I remember when I was a kid, this show was just so bizarre to me. I'm pretty sure my parents wouldn't even let me watch it because of, like, the episodes that would come out. They were just not okay for kids. I also think I just, like, completely avoided watching this show altogether because it did give me nightmares whenever I would, like, sneak watch it. You know when you used to sneak watch something? I could literally do a whole video on this show alone, so if you like me talking about this episode, I will literally do a whole video just dedicated to this show. Okay, so when this episode starts. Stimpy, this is the character Stimpy, he's shown just lying there playing with his belly button. And for some reason his belly button is making like amusing noises to him. Like it's making like all these weird sort of sounds as he's touching it. So Ren, this is the character Ren, he tells Stimpy that if he keeps playing with his belly button, he's gonna go crazy. Like he's gonna lose his mind. But he doesn't listen and in this episode he slowly starts to go a little bit insane. Like he is shown pouring baking soda and vinegar into his belly button to watch it explode in front of him. He like sharpens pencils with his belly button. Stimpy becomes so obsessed with doing this and eventually starts to hear a voice coming from his belly button telling him to come inside. So he starts stretching his belly button and is actually able to like wrap it over himself to like physically go inside of his belly button. If that makes sense, I can't even show you all the pictures because this episode is so old. Like all the pictures are like super pixelated, but like he literally like wanders into his belly button and all that's left on the ground is like this little coin shaped belly button. Is this making any sense? So he begins to explore the inside of his belly button and meets Jerry the belly button elf who puts Stimpy to work as his servant. But then Stimpy makes the lethal mistake of offering Jerry the belly button elf a piece of lint to eat. So then Jerry goes into a fit of rage and transforms into a giant pork chop monster named Adonis Lord of Chaos and then chases after poor Stimpy who desperately is trying to crawl out of his own belly button. And then right before the episode ends, there's this character named Mimby. This is what Mimby looks like. And Mimby sees this little belly button sitting on the floor and picks it up and eats it. And the screen fades to black. That's how it ends. If you ever hear noises or voices coming from your belly button, don't try and climb inside. Don't do it. Then the next disturbing episode comes from the show The Real Ghostbusters. And this episode is called The Boogeyman Cometh. And as I was doing research for this video and looking at the screenshots, Wow, they really aired that, didn't they? Now, this episode came out in 1986, and people say it was the scariest Ghostbusters episode that ever aired, that literally ever came out. Like, I was reading so many articles online from people who are, like, adults, like, in their 40s and 50s now, who watched the show as a kid and thought it was so disturbing. In this episode, the Ghostbusters have these two child clients. Their names are Megan and Kenny Carter. They're siblings, and they want 
want to hire the Ghostbusters because something really scary is going on in their house. But when they find out how much the Ghostbusters charge, it literally says the fee is $1,500 for them to even like go to your house. And because they're just kids, they can't afford this. But when the kids mention that they have been seeing the boogeyman in their house, the Ghostbusters take this extreme interest and decided to take on this case for free. In Carter's bedroom, Egon picked up high paranormal activity in their closet. And at midnight, the boogeyman emerged from the closet and it seemed like he was using portals to get into kids' bedrooms. So the Ghostbusters come up with this plan to lure the boogeyman into a trap. And after renting this like super expensive hotel room, they quickly like decorate it to make it look like it's a kid's room. And Ray was chosen as the bait because apparently he looks like the most childlike among the four. The boogeyman arrived, but he escaped the team again and they blasted the portal to keep it open and pursued the boogeyman and chased him through different children's closets. And in the end, as you could probably guess, they do catch him, but people were just really creeped out by this episode because of the way the boogeyman was designed. Like it's literally so bizarre and I agree that it's sort of creepy, especially like from the 80s, like back then, like maybe this is not scary to you now, but in the 80s? They didn't have stuff like this, you know? Okay, the next disturbing episode was from Dexter's Laboratory and this was called Filet of Soul. So this episode aired in 1997. I don't remember watching this episode, but I did like to watch this show with my sister as a kid. So at the beginning of the episode, Dexter and Dee Dee give their pet fish named Fishy too many commands. And as a result of them like bossing their fish around, he actually suffers from exhaustion and dies. Like they literally kill their fish, which is so disturbing. They don't mean to, but like still. And then they both refuse to give their fish a proper burial, AKA putting him down the toilet. So the fish comes back as a ghost and haunts them <laughs> for not flushing him down the toilet. At night when they're trying to sleep, they see the ghost of the fish and decide to try to capture it. So they get this fishing rod with gummy worms hanging from the end of it. And then they tempt the fish to come closer and then Dexter's able to capture it with his ghost hunting gear. And then thinking that their work is done, Dee Dee goes into the bathroom to brush her teeth and suddenly a bunch of spirits of deceased pets from the sewer beyond capture her. So Dexter runs into the bathroom and sees his sister trying to be pulled into the toilet into this other fish like heaven world. Or actually maybe it's the H-E double hockey sticks. And basically these ghosts of pets say that they're not gonna release her until Fishy gets a proper burial. So in the end they finally flush the fish down the toilet and Fishy then enters the sewer beyond with a smile on his face and then the episode ends in such a bizarre way and so many people don't really understand it but then their father walks into the bathroom and warns them that early in the morning that's his special bathroom time and then the next scene reveals that dad gains golden glowing eyes with slit pupils and sharp teeth and he laughs maniacally so people think that he's like the lord of the underworld where the fishes go to the afterlife. Yeah, if that makes sense. Anyways, guys, those are the episodes I'm gonna be talking about today. If you want me to do a part three of the weirdest, most disturbing kid show episodes ever, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. Don't forget if you would like a new dragon plushie or you would like one of these hanging and dangling necklaces, I have linked it down below. And if you wanna go check out my new Jessie's Bookshelf channel, that's actually the way that you can win this backdrop behind me. You just go there, subscribe, comment on my recent videos, and then I will choose you to win this backdrop. Anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!